Sure, what's up everyone, Duquesne here, and I'm back with another Forge Hub map feature, and today we're going to be checking out the map Habitat 17 by Bullet to the Head 9. Now, he is probably one of the best forgers uh, in Halo Infinite currently, and the description of this map is one of many habitat and research centers littering this planet in preparation for the coming colonies. Now, this is a very small map. It's a 1v1 map. And there's, of course, just a variety of weapons on here. It's nothing too crazy because of the fact that it's just supposed to be a 1v1 map. Uh, but the amount of detail and everything in it is incredible. So let's go ahead and jump in and walk around this map and check out all the incredible Forge uh, stuff that Bullet to the Head 9 did. All right, so the first thing is we're going to start out on this platform on one side of the map. Now, one of the very first things that you do notice, at least I notice, is the background the background is absolutely beautiful it's just mind-blowing what he was able to create just you know surrounding the map to give the map a sense of scale and then also just a, a feel like it's in a lived-in world uh, so it's a really great job and another thing i want to say is if you do want to be able to see more maps like this as well as other maps that people have made you know other incredible maps like this be sure to go check out forgehub.com and also show up on Friday at 7 p.m. Uh, Pacific time. Uh, that's whenever Nated will be streaming a lot of these maps as well as many other maps. And he'll be playing on them and checking out gameplay and everything like that on all the maps that we do feature, as well as other maps that he finds. Uh, so let's go ahead and keep walking throughout here. I love just the detail, the like corroded aspect of the map, as well as, ooh, got a little buffy. Um, as well as like the sand or whatever, I don't know, whatever the type of rock this is, just all over everything. It just looks great, especially with the red. I love the contrast of the white and the red and everything like that. And you keep hearing these squeaking noises up here. And I believe these panels open and close every once in a while. Uh, like watch this one over here on the left side that's slightly open. I believe there it goes. Oh, oh, see it open. There we go. Now, I believe this one also closes as well. Oh, wait, it's going back down. It's closing. See, stuff like that is absolutely incredible. And this is the thing that you should definitely... Oh, it opened up even more that time there. Oh, and that one's shutting right there. See, that is just so cool. It just adds some, like, movement. And it adds some, you know, so your map isn't just completely static. Uh, it actually kind of moves around a little bit to just provide a just a little something extra there. Now, that's what I love doing about these walkthroughs like this. Because you could take inspiration like something like this and add something similar to your map. Uh, you can get ideas and stuff that you can, you know, put into your map. So, let's go ahead first. I guess let's go to this side. Uh, we got a commando over there. Uh, we're going to come down here and we got all sorts of like, you know, like panels and stuff like this i love just the the clean aspect of this room right here like everything else is just grungy and nasty in here it reminds me a little bit of portal or you know i know some people have said you know like starfield and stuff like that just because you know it's a space game it has a lot of white in the space game and stuff but look at this like we got this computer terminal here uh and this alien plant grown i love how this is like lit up and you know kind of like it looks like it's drawing power and that's what you know you get the equipment piece and stuff as it's drawing power that's just such a cool little idea and aspect especially like look at this right here that is awesome and same thing with that one up there like all this just extra little stuff it looks like panels are off of the wall reminds me a little bit of portal with the panels off of the wall and you know you can see like the underneath the inside of there uh but we got some uh plants growing over here i love whenever they put some green vegetation in places uh to just differentiate the colors of the room itself uh right here oh look at this sleeping pod can we actually jump into there oh no i don't think our spartans can fit in there uh, but yeah, that is so cool. Just having like little sleeping pods. That's an interesting idea with the ladder right there. That is really cool having uh, two sleeping pods there. We got uh, another weapon here. And then look at this right here. Like this is just like a cool padded uh, spacey type of room right here. I love the different colors. This goes to the red. So it kind of in there, there's orange and green colors in there out here there's a lot of red like plants and stuff so this is kind of like matching some of the outside area 
Uh, man, look at this. I love also that right there. You can go ahead and shoot through and underneath, maybe, you know, toss an aid under there. If you know someone's on the other side, that would be pretty interesting uh, there. We got a door here. Uh, and then I believe this goes right back to where we were. It does right there. So let's go ahead and jump up here. So there's a platform here. Uh, we can go ahead and jump up here and get up and across uh, to get to the other side. That's a really good idea. Good traversal. Oh, man. And we got the sniper up top here uh, right in the middle, just in the open. So I love that. The fact that if you want to go for the sniper, you're going to get shot most likely going for the sniper. So let's go ahead and hop down. Uh, let's drop all the way down over here. So this is like going down the platform. Got more weaponry here. What's this right here? We got a some sort of structure. Is this some sort of elevator of some sort uh, coming up? It kind of looks like it's some sort of elevator uh, that you can come up here and then you can go ahead and uh, make your way down to the bottom over there. But man, look at that. I just love the outside aesthetics as well. It just, it really does make this feel like a map like in lived in. Oh my gosh. This is the type of stuff I want to see like a 1v1 playlist in, you know, matchmaking and stuff and have maps like this that are just beautiful you know, like incredibly forged maps and just really cool to be able to have oh look at this we got ourselves and look they even added the uh tire marks to come over there that's that's detail that's pointless oh my gosh there's like a moon rover over there too i didn't even notice that before that is so cool there's a little moon rover. what else is there anything else over here that i i missed here oh uh, my gosh the first step's a doozy right there Coming over here, we got all these butterflies. We got, uh, you know, a whole bunch of like weird uh, alien fauna uh, that's around here. Got some good cover over on this side as well, so you're not just kind of stuck out in the open here. What is this? Is this uh, is this a welding gun or is this some sort of like a charging thing or something like that right there? Very nice. Uh, platforms coming up here, getting back up to the top, looking great. Habitat 17. There we go, and I think that is pretty much it for the most part. Oh, I guess there is this that we missed here. I am a terrible jump. Maybe maybe a, a, a guy that's someone that's better than me. Uh, maybe go here. Oh, yes, look at that. Look at me go. I made it all the way up here on my own. But this is a nice little platform, so it's just not always you're going to go through that door or this door or that door over there. You got these upper areas right here that you could jump in through on either side there, which is a, a nice touch. It's just a really nice touch to be able to add that in there. But overall, like this is, I, I love this so much. This is so cool. Uh, fantastic map. If you want to be able to download this, the link will be in the description down below. Uh, and you can download this. Um, as well as many other incredible maps over on Forgehub.com. So if you have a map that you want us to check out, uh, be sure to go submit it over on Forgehub.com. Just post it into the map section. You know, it's real easy to do. Just follow the directions on there. And also, y'all can go check out some other stuff. It's, so once you link your Xbox account, you know, to Forgehub on there, you, all you do is have to click bookmark and it just does it straight from the site and bookmarks it onto your account in the game and it just makes it real easy. So again, we do have streams every single Friday. Nated will be streaming at 7 p.m. Pacific time. So if y'all want to check that out, be sure to uh, subscribe and, uh, you know, keep an eye out for the streams on Friday. And thank y'all everyone for coming out. And remember, let's forge a new Halo.